Hello and welcome back. Today we're talking about groups in IAM. So let's imagine that this is our account and we have some users in this account. So we have a team over here and these are developers and they need access to the following AWS services, S3, the simple storage service, uh, EC2 and RDS. And then on the other hand, we have another team inside our organization. These are data scientists and they need access to other tools. They need access to Redshift, SageMaker and S3. So what can we do? Well, instead of giving each user individual permissions to access the tools that they need, we can group the users into groups. So the developers can, to, can go into a group, which we will name developers, and then we will assign permissions to that whole group. So the whole group will have permissions to use these three tools, and the users inside this group will inherit these permissions, so they will also be able to use these tools. Then we'll put the data scientists into a group called data scientists and similarly assign permissions for them to use the tools that they need. Now, let's say we also have uh, another user, the CEO. And together, Royce, the CEO, and Lynn are managers. They're managers of the organization. Well, they might need access to other tools such as IAM. Again, instead of assigning these uh, permissions individually to each one of them, we can assign this permission to the whole group and they will inherit them. So the important things to know about groups is that a user can belong to no groups at all, can belong to one groups or can belong to many groups, maximum up to 10. You can have up to 5,000 users in your account total and you can have up to 500 groups. And groups are really just a convenience thing in AWS. They help you organize your permissions in a more efficient way. They're really not much more than that. So that's all we need to know about groups. One last thing to keep in mind for the exam is that groups cannot be nested. So look out for trick questions on that. Groups cannot contain other groups. They can only contain users. Here's a quick summary of what we discussed. I look forward to seeing you back here next time and until then, enjoy the cloud.